chosen ones, empaths, I'm sure you've all got a story to tell, or maybe a few stories to tell, about how the narcissist in your life, or that was in your life, managed to ruin a holiday, or managed to ruin a birthday, you know? You know, man, managed to ruin an event that was meant to be something that you enjoy, that, that, that you look forward to, something that you're meant to, you know, really, it's meant to be a special occasion, you know what I mean? Whether that's Christmas, another holiday, or even an actual holiday when you go abroad to the seaside, or you go to the seaside, or you go, or you go somewhere with a the family, they'll twist this and make it into something so miserable, you know, and sometimes they start from before you've even set off. Before you've even set off on your journey, they're already starting with their drama. That's one way they do it. Or maybe more of the covert ones will act like they're happy to be going as well. But then when you get out there or you or you or you or the celebration begins, they 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 turn it upside down. They turn it upside down, and. They do this without fail because they, 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 they feel like when there's something special happening, they feel like they're not the centre of attention. And they want to make it about themselves. It makes them feel less than. And they want to twist it and make it about themselves again. You know, so they, at any means possible, they have to make it about themselves. They have to. You know, they have to take over the whole show and make it about themselves. And anyway, I'd love to hear about your stories in the comment section. So please feel free to leave some comments, you know, because some people may be going through this at the moment. Um, some people may even have their holiday booked with the narcissist and they're going away next week. So maybe if we can sh share some love and share, share the message, then it will help people out. But I'll get back to the topic. Like, please press the like and the subscribe button as well. Um, thank you. Um, yeah. They they want to drag it down. They they really want to they really want to take it. They just want to take it over, you know. You they they like. In my situation, I've had it both sides. In what one narcissist that I dealt with, they they were very subtle in the way they done it, and they kind of they kind of gaslighted to me, gaslighted me to make me think it was me that was spoiling. The holiday that we went on They tried to make me feel like What I was doing Was stuff to make the holiday miserable And it's only looking back in retrospect That I can see it wasn't me And they were gaslighting me To make me feel it was that way When really They felt insecure About me cheating They felt like I think it, they thought I was going to cheat they, they felt very insecure it was like, and it started, this actually did start from before we even went there. So when it comes to booking the uh, accommodation, I said, look, I'd, I'd been there before. I'd been there before. They hadn't been there, but we was going to book it. And I think I told, they said they found a place. I said that we need to go to this specific location because this specific location is the center of the place. So um, it, it's a good location to be at. Because you're very in a close proximity to everywhere that you need to be If you know what I mean So I said that we should be close to there Yeah And When they, they booked a place Even though they didn't know They booked a place that ended up Being like a building site Yeah It was like a building site Being honest And it was so far away from the, the centre So far away from the proximity of the place And this is the least thing that they'd done but this is where they were already trying to make it about themselves from before we even went. But let's look, look, we can disregard that one. Let's say they they, they 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 picked that place, you know. They didn't know it was gonna be a building site or whatnot, but at least they don't they don't reciprocate what you're saying. They don't trust they don't they don't value what you're saying. Like, for example, I'm someone who's been there before, I know the area, I know the, the ideal location to go, they haven't been there before, yet they feel it's right to make their decisions and then when we got out there, I remember them saying to me that I'm looking at other females. I remember them starting saying, I'm looking at other females. I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I said, what, what do you mean I'm looking at other females? 
Like I'm not looking at other females And then they started to make me Question my own stuff Like you know when you're walking down the road Like your eyes You see people But they would get insecure Just because there's someone Who probably they deem to be more attractive than themselves In the vicinity And they felt like I was looking And they even tried to gaslight me and say Even those people knew That you're looking in that way And this is what they was doing throughout the whole holiday And I wish I just knew what I knew then Because if I knew what I knew now I just see that as some insecure narcissist Who's just so insecure About who they are It's either they're insecure They just wanted to make it miserable It's one of the two But either way they destroyed the holiday yeah, And they made me think That it was me That done it You know And I've been in other situations, I remember, where I was going to go on holiday and the psychopath or narcissist, not this one, another one, they they wanted to, um, they said they were coming, then they said they wasn't coming, then they were coming again, then they wasn't coming again, you know, I mean, he was driving a long way. Yeah, and they made it all about them. They made it all about how they f- how they feel, you know, how <coughs> not how they feel. Sorry about that cough. All about themselves. They made it all about themselves, and totally dis- d- destroyed the energy and everything. To do was going away, you know. Then when they went there, they didn't have money. This was when I was younger, but I'm just saying, I didn't know what was happening at the time. So therefore, you know, we're chipping together to bail them out. It's one like when you're going away with your friends when you're younger, you know. And then we're chipping in to bail them out, and it was like it just made. The whole thing miserable Then they took control of the whole situation out there They they took control And It makes it very miserable It makes it very miserable You know they, they And they love seeing you down They love seeing you Go into a place where you want to enjoy yourself And you can't enjoy yourself because of them And it's very sadistic and twisted Like the reason that they do this, you know. And when it comes to birthdays, I think birthdays for me top the list. Nah, it doesn't top the list. They're, they're equally as bad. They're equally as bad. Let me go back on that. I shouldn't say that. But birthdays, when it comes to narcissists, narcissists are the worst gift givers in the history of gift givers. You know, they are the worst gift givers or even christmas yeah whatever gifts but they they are the worst gift givers in the history of gift givers you know they 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 don't have a clue how to how to share gifts with one another they don't know they're very miserly they're very stingy they will buy something for you knowing you don't like it to see how you react to that some of them just damn right, don't even buy gifts. They just won't even buy gifts for their children. They just won't buy them for their children. You know? And their child... And it's not like money's an issue, because naturally, if money's an issue, yeah, sometimes you might need to break down to your child and you say, look, money's really tight, or you, or however you do it. Yeah, I don't know the correct way, but you kind of inform them that, all right, maybe I'll make it up to you on this day, because we can't do it on your birthday But we've got something planned afterwards And you and you break it down to them And you, you, you ease them through it you know? Because obviously financially people are struggling out here So I'm not disputing that And I'm not disputing the fact When I say a bad gift I'm not disputing the fact and being ungrateful I'm trying to say that they do these things To see your reaction With gift giving They buy you some weird Crazy stuff And it's because this is why they do it, yeah? It's actually a scientific reason. Because they're devoid of empathy in the prefrontal cortex of their brain, 
They don't know how to empathize and know what you want. You know? For example, if you met, if you knew your 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 child's your child's friend, uh, your child's friend, yeah, and it was your child's friend's birthday, you'd you'd be like, oh, what do they want for their birthday? You'd try to figure it out, or you'd say, find out what they like. Do you know? Do they like this uh, this action figure, or do they like this Barbie doll, or do they like this thing, or whatever they are? Like, is a boy, is a girl? You have a rough idea, you find out what you what you want to get them, and you make the most of it and you get them something. These lot don't have the empathy to try and consider rationalizing with someone else to give them, to get a gift, yeah? And I'm sorry that I've spoken just about my experiences in this video, but hopefully you lot can resonate because you have to understand you cannot go on holidays with these individuals. You cannot celebrate the holidays. You can't celebrate nothing, you know? Like, they, when it comes to, yeah, even Christmas, when the whole family has to be bunched together, maybe, if you celebrate that, and if you do celebrate that, and you're all bunched together in a house, yeah, you know, you're all bunched together in the house, and I remember my, when I was with the narcissist, like, you know what, deep down I knew, like, yeah, because my mum died at Christmas time. So I kind of don't really celebrate Christmas that much, right? It's not that I'm a Scrooge, but I just rather um, maybe have a small food and visit the grave and stuff like that, right? Because she died on Boxing Day when I was uh, seven, right? So it's always been like that through my life, right? Like we don't really, my family don't really celebrate Christmas that much We do celebrate it But not to the extent That everyone Like does the whole Nine yards with it But The narcissist Was trying to plug Making my family Come with her family And stuff like this Right And Like Her mum's a narcissist She's a narcissist Like The 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 mum's The mum's boyfriend Is like Um the mum's boyfriend's a victim, yeah, like a victim, but he, he's just as weird as well. Like, there is a bunch of weirdos, and, like, that's, I'm glad I never went to that event, because I'm so grateful, you know, as, as weird as that is to me to say, I'm so glad I never had to attend that, because that would have been some mad drama. And I think because they were left to their own devices, they ended up turning on each other that day, and then stuff happened and stuff like that. But you can't you, you can't celebrate with these individuals, you know. And if like this is why you lot out there, whoever's still hurting, I hope you've watched this video till now, but whoever's still hurting or caught up on the narcissist or caught up on what happened and you miss them or you miss them a bit and you feel like this or you feel like that, like this should bring the truth to light and you only miss the trauma bond. You miss the trauma bond of them. That's what you do miss. And the trauma bond is, in, is, is through their love bombing and their illusionary things. You can't miss that. Like, you have to break from the trauma bond and know, yeah, and get over what they've done to you because, like, in time, get over it because you have to, you're dealing with a scumbag weirdo, yeah. Someone that buys some dodgy gifts. Someone who doesn't even buy gifts for their children. Someone who ruins holidays. Someone who ruins Christmas. You know? This is what they're like. They ruin it. And these are some of the worst days we'll spend with them. But I'm looking forward to seeing some comments. Well, I hope so anyway that you lot, have, you lot do resonate with this message and stuff like that. Because I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm sure... That a lot of you have been through this experience and you'll probably have some 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 really um crazy not crazy but some real deranged behavior from these individuals when you were trying to celebrate some sort of event you know so anyway just a short video today i'll be back later with another post but please press the like and the subscribe button and if you do want a one-to-one -one session you can find the details in the description box catch you all soon peace